fine. We'll add it. For those who don't know, the planetary system I use for my world building project is based on the real life TRAPPIST-1 system. And kind of recently, there may be some slight, very tiny evidence for an eighth planet here. I talk about its heavily refuted existence in this video, but in that video, I also ask you guys this. Since this is a world building project, not a hard science project, I was wondering if you guys would like to see this tiny little thing added to the Romulus system. Throughout the next few videos I would soon upload, I saw a bunch of comments leaning more towards, yeah, sure, add it. So here we are. It was mainly this comment from Commandante Trulo MB that fully convinced me to do it. They even gave me a name, so I'm gonna use that. This tiny little new guy, his name is the Leprechaun. Thank you. But I replied to that comment and I'll say it here too. The reason why I haven't added it until now is, well, eh. But I think we can make it work. Here's what I need out of this planet. One, I need it to be barely visible from Capitoline. Or not even visible at all. For the sake of this world building project, I wanted Trappist-1H, or Aventine, to be the last planet, quote unquote, for reasons. We could try our best. It is a lot smaller than the other Trappist-1 planets, only around 20% Earth size, but Again, taking into account how close these planets are in general, it might be pretty hard to do with. 2. Make it unique. I try my best to have something going on on each of Romulus's planets, while still adhering to somewhat scientific accuracy, what we have actually observed out of the Trappist-1 planets. And that brings me to my third thing. I want to stick to scientific accuracy, as close as possible. I say that knowing Trappist-1i might not even exist at all, but from what we know, Trappist-1i is small and hard to detect from Earth for some reason. And I've got an idea. The Leprechaun shall be a dark ice ball, similar to Jupiter's moon Callisto. Unlike its larger siblings, the Leprechaun will be on an inclined orbit. Outside of the plane the rest of the system lies on. Its smaller size and darker color means that compared to the other planets in the system, the Leprechaun is going to be a lot less visible on Capitoline's surface. At its brightest, the Leprechaun is only 4% as big as a full moon and 6% as bright. Its inclined orbit could be why we have such a hard time observing this thing. We don't have many transit observations of it because it doesn't transit. The only thing we can detect is its gravitational influence on Aventine. Now that solves those problems. Now let's make this interesting. So you see this in our solar system, but the further out you go, the more small bodies like dwarf planets tend to have moons. I'm gonna say that this holds true for the Romulus system. That commenter also gave me names for four moons, so I'm gonna give it four moons. Dublin, Waterford, Kilkenny, and Cork. I like Cork, that's a good name. Now with how close the Romulus planets are to each other, I would have to question how stable any moon system would be. So I'm gonna say that a long time ago, the Leprechaun had a bunch more moons, but Due to orbital instabilities, they've drawn closer and closer to the Leprechaun, giving it two distinct major features. One of them being an equatorial mountain range. An ancient moon started falling towards the Leprechaun, tore itself apart, and the debris landed all across the equator. Similar to how astronomers believe Iapetus' equatorial mountain range formed. The Leprechaun's second major feature is a set of rings. Again, a moon straight too close, tore itself apart. Rings. Uh, yeah, this guy's just gonna hang out back there, completely inconsequential, as a gift to you guys. All 2,000 of you? 2,000? Oh my god. I understand that most of you came from one video, that's completely fine. But I really do want to thank you guys for sticking around this long. I figured you guys deserved a Christmas present, a 2,000 sub special, whatever this is gonna be. And I think it's about time for another big one. So yeah, that's gonna come soon. If you take a look at the comments in my recent videos, you'll probably figure that out. But yeah, see you then.